Hey guys, what's up? It's Melman Nails and welcome to my first travel vlog. Tomorrow morning, I'm heading on a flight back to the East Coast to New Jersey and to New York City. I'm going to be going to one of my best friend's weddings, um, spending some time in New York City, and then for the US Thanksgiving holiday, spending time with my family. So this vlog is gonna be a little bit different than my previous vlogs and it's gonna be a lot of different clips of everything I'm doing on my trip. Hence why I'm making this one a travel vlog. But first some nail stuff, of course. So for my friend's wedding, I'm actually in the wedding party as a groomswoman and the wedding party colors are black. So I wanted to do a set that was simple and classy, but of course still has some anime elements to it. So I came up with these, which I am titling Sukuna nails, but make it classy. So I did a sheer new jelly base, black aura, and then painted all of the Sukuna tattoos with gold to make these low key, if you know, you know, Sukuna, but classy nails to wear to the wedding and for my whole trip this week. So let me put them on and show you what they look like on. Here they are on. Same thing, just on the other hand. I'm like so super obsessed with the aura nails trend. It's just so cool. I hopped on the trend so late, but it's all right. I'm here now. And let me just plug how I did the black aura was, I use this dynamic duo right here. It is the Ableiz Afing sponge picker and the Ableiz Apong sponges and it just goes like like that and then you just put your gel and you can actually what I did too was when I started the aura I did a more light touch so I only picked it up like halfway so that it's just a lot more springy at the bottom so it would you know cover more area to make more of the uh, outer aura and then I cured that, and then for the next layer, I just kept getting tighter, like a more squished and squished to make the sponge tighter at the end. So it's a more focused application. <laughs> this combo is honestly so amazing because the quality of these sponges is so good. It doesn't like, you know, typical, you know, cheap sponges that you'll get from, you know, CVS or something. Um, they ab either absorb all of the gel so you have to keep putting more and more gel, or there's just so much fuzzy that comes off of them. But these sponges uh, are super dense, and it just like is the perfect bounciness and consistency you need to make, you know, the airbrush effect. I got this combo from one of my favorite nail supply stores ever, Sweetie Nail Supply. You can find it there and in the link below. And one more thing, because we love saving money over here, if you use my code MELONBUN, you'll get 10% off your order. Hey! If you're interested, check out Sweetie Nail Supply, get yourself one of these, and you'll be slaying some airbrush aura nails just like this. One last thing that I like to pack for my nails anytime I go out, honestly, anytime I go out to an event or something, I always like to have my emergency application kit. So I take with me extra nail glue, um, a nail buffer, some, um, what is the, how am I forgetting what these are called? Nail filers, um, extra nail tabs and uh, alcohol wipes, just in case, you know, in an emergency, any nail falls off. I have my kit with me in my purse at all times that I can just apply it on the fly. So tip for any of my fellow press-on nails wearers out there, always bring a emergency application kit in your purse with you. I'm about ready to leave for the airport and I have one thing that I'm really sad that I'm going to be leaving behind and I can't attend to till I'm back. It's my Sweetie Nail Supply brand ambassador welcome package. Oh my god, I'm so sad that i won't be able to open it until i come back for my two-week trip so this girl is gonna be sitting here waiting patiently for me to come home and open it and when i open her i'm gonna make a really nice video of everything inside i'm so excited to see what i get and i'm so excited to be 
an honor to be representing Sweetie Meal Supply as one of their brand ambassadors. Literally like a dream come true. Like I never thought that, well one, I never thought that I would ever find an artistic hobby and passion for nail art the way I have now. I never would I thought that I would be able to, that I would even paint nails being such a crazy nail biter myself. So um, to be able to have found that passion and then to be able to have supporters and followers like you and now to be chosen as a brand ambassador, it's really, it's really so humbling and I can't believe it sometimes how how life goes and how things that you never thought would happen can happen. So yeah, I'm really, really excited to be a Sweetie Nail Supply Brand Ambassador. Yeah. One more thing that I'm gonna be bringing with me to my trip to is my trusty cuticle oil from my friend Lonnie, and, aka Lonnie Nails. Here's her Instagram. She's also an amazing press on nail artist. And this, I can even smell it from here. This is like the most yummy smelling cuticle oil ever. It's dragon fruit scented, love dragon fruit. And the application, it's a rollerball application, which is really cool. So it makes it very convenient for rolling on my cuticles and keeping them nice and moisturized. Don't forget to use cuticle oil on your cuticles, guys. And if you want a really cool cuticle oil, definitely hit up my friend Lonnie Nails and get your own. here it was like 7 a.m and my boyfriend was sleeping so i had to not talk but we are now in new jersey at the hotel where my friend's wedding is and i'm getting ready to walk across the street to the main venue and get ready with everyone let's go sandwich since I graduated. Brought us to a place called Food Hall. It's like, I guess it's close to Anaheim. Is like it's what we see all the time in college. Mm -hmm. That's the least of hardware made ones for sure. Oh my god! 
cheese. That's the way I like my lasagna. We have a cheese. Dip it in the sauce, dude. That's some fire lasagna. That was like flavor of spaghetti today. It's time for day two in New York City and voiceover Misha is back. Our first stop for the day is in Chinatown at Mei La Wa to get some show pao, as we Filipinos call it. I've had this a lot growing up. It's one of my family's favorite spots ever since they immigrated here. And the show pao still slaps just like how I remember it. From there, we walked through the infamous Canal Street full of the craziest bootlegs to get to our next location, the Color Factory, which is a super cool interactive museum all about, you guessed it, colors. Honestly, one of the best interactive museums I've been to. Every room is so cool. And in this first room, they gave out free macaroons. I picked a passion fruit flavor one that tasted really good. This room was full of different smells related to the color, and let me tell you, some of those smells were pungent. Then we got split up to do this cute activity where we draw each other. And here's Amanda's super beautiful drawing of me. I'm so honored. In this room, there was all these different flavors of taffy. I actually don't like taffy, so I didn't have one. And then there was this really interesting colorful confetti snow Christmas room. There was so much confetti, some of them even followed me all the way back to the hotel. Then it was finally time to see what color we are via this room full of different choices. And by the path of choices that you make, it leads you at the end to a door to what your color is. Basically like one of those MBTI personality quizzes, but maybe a little less introspective than that. As you guys know, my favorite color is green, but ironically, I never get that kind of color for personality tests. I almost always 100% get red or some shade of red, which is the literal opposite of green. <laughs> so because of my track record, I was already kind of anticipating I was gonna get a red color here. And when I opened the door, lo and behold, yup, <laughs> it's red. Or as the color factory's calling it, holiday turtleneck. What do you guys think? Do you think I give off red vibes? Next, we're in this silent disco room. They were playing Lady Gaga Just Dance in the headphones, so it was pretty lit. And then this is where tragedy struck. We couldn't resist going to the ball pit, and I lost my thumbnail. Rest in peace, soldier, never to be found again. But it's okay because they had some delicious ice cream afterwards, and we got to choose a prize. Super fun, go check it out if you're ever in New York. Here's my poor cuticles suffering in the 30 degree weather as we make our way shopping around Soho. First, we went to a store our boyfriends wanted to go to first, Melee on Doré. And here's Amanda and I patiently waiting for them as they try on all their clothes. They also have their own cafe in there where I got hot tea and coffee before we head out for the girls' turn to shopping at Prada. I almost bought another pair of boots like the one I have but in a green color, but they didn't have my size in stock, so I guess my wallet was safe. At least for now. Then it was time for dinner at Coat Korean Steakhouse. And here I just want to take the time to shout out Amanda, aka Please No Cilantro, on Instagram and TikTok, and also my boyfriend for being the goats of this New York City trip and snagging all of these amazing reservations for everything that we ate. So for dinner, we all decided to do the Butcher's Feast meal, and we also got a side of kimchi fried rice. And now to see if the meat lives up to its Michelin star rating. And survey says, eh, nothing really that spectacular, except this ice cream though. But we did get free shots from our server whose family also happens to live in LA so that was lit. Now we're in line to go to some anime party. I swear this wasn't my idea. It's our last full day in New York City. And I sound so congested. Okay, clearly you can tell the weather has not been kind to me. I'm definitely not an East Coast girly anymore. <laughs> and I do not like this cold. It is wrecking my immune system and I'm congested. <laughs> I have been chugging this every single day and this every single day. <laughs> I will be checking in again today. But anyways, today's our last day in New York. We're going to go to Bryant Park 
to the holiday shops and like probably get some hot apple cider, go around, see what's cute, maybe buy little trinkets. And then after that, we're going to lunch in Soho at this like sushi restaurant that also does really cute brunch called Momoya. And then after that, we're going to head back to like Madison and Fifth Ave area to do some shopping, see if there's anything. I really want to go to Vivian Westwood. I'm like in my Vivian Westwood era and see if there's like anything I want to buy. Maybe like earrings, maybe rings. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, let's go. So cheesy. Yeah? That's all perfect. Mm -mm -mm. Hey, bite. <laughs> this is the perfect sandwich. It's so good. Salami. Crunchy bread. Minimal vegetables. One pickle. Cheese. Nothing more than life that I could want from a sandwich. Mm. First, we got some bomb bagels for breakfast, and then we headed to Madison Ave, where we saw this really cute scene of bears at a restaurant. Then we went to the babe store, but they didn't have what I was looking for. But they did have this super cute living room setup displayed. Stopped by Mew Mew, where I impulsively bought a pair of boots because they were just too cute. And then what I've been waiting for this whole trip, got to go to Vivian Westwood. And I had to try on this corset that I've been wanting for so long, and oh my god. Who is she? Look at that waist. Where is it? Pretty face, no waist, first place. All right, all right, let me stop. I was just quoting a Sweetie lyric right there. Just getting this beautiful view of St. Patrick's Cathedral in the daylight this time. And then we went to Saks Fifth Avenue, where once again, you can find Misha shopping on floor eight, women's shoes. Taking a look at some really cute Amina Mawadis. And then I spotted a brand that I've been eyeing for so long and want to choose from, Renee Calvilla. And you guys already know what color shoes I put on to try that's right melon bun green then we did one of the funniest things ever and took one of these bicycles back to the hotel it was about 10 blocks like a 10 minute ride because we were tired and also it was like my boyfriend's dream the entire trip to ride one of these and here's us busting out laughing because we were joking around about him playing empire state of mind and guess what he played it. Low key, it was pretty fun to ride this, and it was definitely better than walking all the way back to the hotel. Thank you. 
that was a fun bike ride i always see those things when i used to like live here i know i was like who would ever ride those but um my boyfriend really wanted to ride it and we rid it and he played new york and you know what it was kind of lit would i do it again maybe <laughs> sorry this song is called empire state of mind <laughs> it was lit you should try it at least once if you're in new york and here's everything I got. Well, not everything. I also bought boots from Miu Miu, but they didn't have my size in store, so they're gonna ship it to my house. But I got two things from Vivian Westwood. I got a black corset. I'm so, it gives me the cutest little skinny waist of my dreams I've ever never had. So super excited for my black corset. And then I also got a pearl necklace that matches my pearl bracelet right here. This one. And I also have earrings that are just like literally the little spaceship. So it matches. And then we went to Saks Fifth and I got those beautiful shoes. I showed a video of the Renee Calvilla. This gorgeous, sparkly, in green, of course, my favorite color shoes. Yay! Now I pretend that I do not see these purchases on my credit card history. Don't see it. This is in the Otolo, the Pali Tuna, with the Kaluka Kami. <laughs> that we have to try it so mm. okay. yeah better than what you think yeah <laughs> it didn't taste like ocean -y like usual it was very good <laughs> The texture was so buttery. Yeah. Hmm. Is that how uni is supposed to taste like? <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is double whammy. It's eel and foie gras. <laughs> I like it. Where's it's like magic, like what? <laughs> morning in New York City we we're actually checking out of the hotel in like 15 minutes and then we're gonna take an uber back to my cousin's house and get ready for Thanksgiving family Thanksgiving fun
We're doing a little excursion to my old mall when I used to live here, the Garden State Plaza. We got the kids having a little cake pop moment from Starbucks. What's a cake pop? Cake pop. Cake pop. <laughs> and then the other kid is sleeping. And we're gonna get boba and lunch. Not sure what we'll get for lunch yet, but we'll see. We got gongcha. Even is like a straw hat material. Oh, I wish my nephew's feet were bigger. I would totally get this for him. Just two Californians eating lunch at California Pizza Kitchen. <laughs> Yay! Oh, you don't know, like it. He's blowing like raspberries on my food. <laughs> He's blessing it for you. <laughs> Tillin at the fire pit built by at Moshi Base and my brother. They did an awesome job. It's so sick. Nice throwback. If it's automaton, people would like it. Yeah. So cute. We're out Should here. Get him in this little. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, they're gonna heat it. They're gonna stirring up some. Uh, what is that? I'm making gravy. The roof of the gravy. Oh, the roof of the gravy. Spicy cream puffs. Stirring it up in the kitchen. <laughs> Immaculate Thanksgiving dessert spread. What we got here? We got Filipino turon, which is like a banana, it's plantains, like a plantain, delicious fried sweet brown sugar. AJ made stuffing muffins. She also made three gorgeous, like perfect looking pumpkin pies, a gorgeous pecan pie. And then I made sweet potato souffle. And AJ's parents also brought San Rival, which is a Filipino dessert that's like cashews, layers of cashew, like base pastry, and like buttercream. The oh, Moshi base wait, wait, preparing his social media post of the Automaton Thanksgiving. Should I do like a <laughs> so cute? Look at the little. Little Thomas family. I wish there was like a Thanksgiving song. And on the savory table, we are still missing the turkey. So let me come back to this when the turkeys are here. But right now, we're gonna be with something really Filipino and we're gonna be karaoke. And here's my fit. Wait, let me do like a little fit check. This shirt is from, I'm pretty sure I got this from Fashion Nova. This skirt is from Skims. I don't have any shoes except for house slippers on. Um, I'm in my Vivian Westwood area. Vivian Westwood era with my earrings and my necklace. The, this necklace I just got. And then, yeah, that's pretty much my fit. Thankful? Are you thankful for me? Yes, I am quite thankful. <laughs> I'm thankful for him too, I guess. Just kidding, I am. Starting the... Uh, wait, are you allowed to show drinking on YouTube? Water. Starting the juice. Recreational beverages early. Ooh, spicy cream puff. She made all the desserts. Oh, she was perfect. Yeah, I just fed. Got it. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving chalkboard. Yo, some follow sunflower dot boba. I mean sunflower boba dot co. <laughs> <laughs>
like a good top. Ooh, that looks that good. Top, that looks nice and toasty. All this makeup stuff out here because I just did someone's makeup, so I'm very important. And it is Automaton! <laughs> Automaton got her makeup done. Her sleigh. She's all ready for a special video coming out by At Moshi Base. Follow to see what it is. Her sleigh it's giving and here's a mini one that we used to test test red makeup she looking a little rough but it all worked out for the main event no oh my god <laughs> I'm a new professionals to be an automaton makeup artist So we'll do it like one time through with like each. Okay. No, whatever you feel like. You gotta move it more than that. Come on, babe, he's gotta dance. Yeah, that's so stiff. <laughs> don't do not do the mouth. He's not even on me. <laughs> You're not even moving. <laughs> I am moving. Back at the airport, waiting for our flight to go back home after a fun almost two weeks in New York City and New Jersey. <laughs> It was really fun. It was a really good trip. It was so nice to, it was probably like the best New York City trip I've had probably all my life. Even though like I I used to live in this area, it was like one of the better times I've been in the city, good people we were with. And then it was such a nice Thanksgiving too. We had amazing food. It was the first time my cousin was hosting Thanksgiving in her own house because she just bought her house this year. So it was a super special, and um, big milestone for her and her family. I'm happy that we were able to be there and celebrate and help out with prepping the food and just like being with family. It was really nice. It was a really good trip. Did you have a good trip? Yes. The family is yeah. wonderful. <laughs> but yeah, it's been such an eventful trip. We're super tired. So both, you know, sad to leave, but all <laughs> sad to leave, but also excited to go back home and get back to it. I'm not excited nice to get back bed. to work though. And a nice I think I got like hundreds of emails to catch up on for work. That's the unexciting part, but yeah, just gonna wait, gonna work on some things, some graphics and stuff. And then probably on the flight, I'll work some more on some more melon bun graphics. And yeah, we'll be back in LA. Officially back home in my bed. I even unpacked my whole luggage already, which is super uncharacteristic of me because sometimes I'd be leaving my luggage on luggage just out after a trip until my next trip. So yeah, I like unpacked my whole luggage, showered, got ready for bed, and here I am back home in LA. It was a super amazing two week vacation, New York City, Thanksgiving with family, my friend's wedding, my heart is so full and I am so tired. So this is the end of my first travel edition vlog. Thanks for coming with me on this whole experience and watching it. If you made it all the way through, you are a the coolest. Here are all my social media links for my nail stuff um so you can see what i'm up to and my art and everything like that and i'm planning to do an actual nail <laughs> vlog an actual normal melon vlog non-travel edition so be on the lookout for that and yeah that's it for this one until the next the next melon vlog travel edition